What is going on guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about the number one reason why your product will fail and why you will fail as a seller. And I'm gonna be going over this and hopefully it will get you to actually succeed and not make this same mistake because it is a very deadly mistake to make. So I have a lot of people email me and also I have a lot of students email me and give me products to look over. They'll say, hey Riley, can you look over this product for me? I wanna make sure it's gonna sell well. And I'll do a little bit of research on it and um, say, for example, one of my students brings me a product, I look over it, I check the numbers, I run the numbers, I check to see if there's anything that looks weird, anything that looks like out of place or any sort of reason that I would have to maybe it failing or not. So most of the time, the people that I'm teaching and a lot of the YouTube people that I'm teaching uh, end up finding a good product to sell. I'll run the numbers, everything looks good. Uh, but that is not the only reason why you will succeed or fail selling on Amazon. So you can't just look at it as, oh, I'm gonna find a good product and then everything's fine after that. If I find a good product, then I will make money with this product because that's not how it works. You have to look at succeeding on Amazon FBA as art. And there's multiple different things that you need to succeed and multiple different things that you have to put into this art to make it actually appealing at the end, meaning success. So for example, we have to have the art of finding a good product and product research is an art of its own. So then after we find that good product, we put in all that work that was our first art piece that we had to work on and then the second thing is we have to you know, find suppliers, negotiate, find the best prices, figure out what kind of shipping we want. That's a whole nother piece of art that we have to work on, whole nother different style of art and uh, requires different knowledge and different, uh, different things than product research. So then once we get those two things done, then we have to move on to the third uh, piece of art we have to work on. And all these different things take different skills. So think of it like one is painting, one is uh, drawing, one is sculpting. Like, it's not like you just get, you just understand product research and now you're gonna succeed through the whole thing because no, they each take their own skills and they each have their own things that you need to master in order to actually do them correctly. So the third one is going to be the art of making your listing and creating you know, product photography and where you get it and making your whole listing and post actually look uh, appealing to your buyer. Now number four would be marketing, advertising, product launching, anything like that. Now this is the one I wanted to talk about today because most people take courses and they see, uh, oh, okay, finding a product's easy, I can do that. Okay, making my listings easy, I can do that. Okay, uh, talking to suppliers is easy, I can do that. But the most important thing and the number one reason why I see people failing and not doing anything correctly is because they forget about the art of product launching. They forget how important it is to have reviews and, and know how the whole art of reviews work. That's a whole art of its own, just reviews. You have to know how to get them, what you can do, what you can't do, because Amazon has restrictions for this. Everyone thinks, oh, have your friends and family review it, but that is not allowed and it won't even work. It won't even let you do that. So there's different things you need to do and that's just one section of it. Also, we have to look at other tactics when it comes to product launching, uh, such as giveaways, and I teach all these things to my private students giveaways, we can also do influencer marketing, we can do Facebook ads, Instagram ads. You have to know how to actually do these things or else your product will fail. And everyone uh, will ask, is it too competitive to sell nowadays, blah, blah, blah. And yes and no, because the market is totally being overrun by a ton of people, but you need to realize that a lot of these people don't know what they're doing. 99, not 99, maybe 95% of these sellers have no idea what they're doing. They learned from someone or took someone's course and their course didn't go over how to product launch at all. And product launching is the most important part of this. So you may ask, is it too competitive? Yes, there's a lot of people out there and yes, they all might be doing the same product, but very, very few actually know how to do it correctly. Very few know how the review system works. Very few know how to get proper reviews, how to jumpstart reviews, how to get uh, continuous reviews after you make sales, how to get your product ranked on the first page, uh, how to market your product, how to advertise, how to run uh, promotions, how to do giveaways. Most people don't know how to do this. And almost, I'd say 99.5% of the sellers that come to me have no idea how to do this and they don't even think it's a thing. They think you just post your product and it just works and you don't have to do anything for it. So I'm kind of going on a rant right now and I get a little bit angry at this because I see all of these people coming from other courses and then they come to me after they took these courses 
and they don't know anything. And it's like, you're still a clean slate. You haven't learned anything from this other course. They didn't teach you anything. And now it's like, oh my, like I feel bad for them. But then again, it also kind of angers me because I feel like since I'm a small channel on YouTube, all of these big guys who have courses that are outdated and don't even work and go over old rules that Amazon doesn't even use anymore. And they don't even go over anything when it comes to product launching, anything. These people are taking those courses and then finding me because they're in search of someone who can help them because these courses didn't help them. So now they find me and they email me and they ask, can you help me? I don't know how to do this. My product's not selling this and that and this. And I'm saying in my head, like, why do, so it's like now I am going to have to save them from failing and teach them how to actually do it correctly, which is annoying because these people who are selling these courses uh, that work so well uh, are making millions of dollars off of it. But really, in all reality, their courses are pretty dang bad and are outdated and don't even go over like 50% of what you need to actually know. So then I come over here and I teach students privately and I don't even I don't even care if I make a course sale and then I'm putting all this work into helping other people and kind of fixing what the millionaires already did from their stupid courses that don't even work. So it's kind of upsetting. That whole rant was kind of off topic, but uh, I'm trying to help you guys and I'm trying to save you from doing something that you shouldn't be doing. So just know that it is not as simple as you think. It is not just find a product, put it up. No, you have to remember the number one reason why 99.5% of sellers fail is because they don't know how to product launch and they don't understand how it works and they don't even know that it's a thing. Most people don't even know it's a thing. So that's why the people who come to me and actually seek more help on how to correctly product launch, which is absolutely crucial. I don't care what you're selling. Those are the people who are actually doing it correctly and they blow everyone else out of the water because it's not about how many people are in it trying to make money. It's about how many people are in it and actually know how to make money, which is very few and far between. So don't be scared to email me after this video because I do understand that a lot of you took courses that were outdated and took courses that uh, don't go over product launching at all really. I understand and I am here to help you guys. That's why I have this YouTube channel and this is why I privately teach people because I want to specifically work with the people I want to work with and if I see that you are not serious about it or you are not willing to put your all into it or listen to me or you know whatever the case may be then i don't want to work with you so that's why i keep it private and exclusive so if you are seriously interested and you really do need help or you want my mentorship then email me um, i'll put the email right here if you don't feel like pausing the video i'll leave my email in the description down below also if you guys want to learn more about product research and how to find a good product i'll leave a card up here somewhere and it will go over how to use the Jungle Scout uh, Chrome extension. And uh, then if you also need that, I'll leave the link down below to help you guys out too. So that's it for this video. I hope I saved some of you from buying a bad course. I hope uh, maybe uh, I helped you guys not forget about how important a product launch is and the different aspects that go into it, aka startup reviews, continuous reviews, getting your product ranked on the first page, giveaways, uh, influencer marketing, Facebook ads, Instagram ads. I hope you guys realize how much goes into it and it is not just find a product, post it because that's what everyone on YouTube teaches and I'm sick of hearing it and I'm sick of everyone coming to me and asking me to save them. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys enjoyed this video or if I may have saved you or taught you anything new, go ahead and go down below and click on the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And last but not least, go down below and let me know if you subscribed. Also, let me know if you have any questions and I respond to every single question. So just like that, the video is over and don't forget to email me, don't forget to comment, don't forget to do whatever you wanna do. And I am happy to help you guys. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.